Hello, 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 friends and neighbors. Welcome back. It's a kick to the head here, and we're on the old family farm for Farming Simulator 2013. We are back. Look at that sunset going down over the potato field. Gorgeous. It's beautiful. As I mentioned in the last episode, we are back. You can see that these fields are just started growing during their first phase cycle, and our potatoes are ready. And the other fields are getting close to being done as well. So it looks like that this field is going to be offset from, from both of these fields together. So, um, it, yeah, it looks like we're going to have a cycle of three. So this one will be in between these two. And probably a good thing, though. It will take a while to do the potatoes as we only have the one row machine. So it will be quite tedious. But the good note is I, I tested it and I think it's going to work with uh, Philip driving. And when we can concentrate on offloading, you can see we got my brother sitting already on the back. And you can see, I'm going to do the little things a little different over here. Got some potato boxes over here, and that's probably what we're going to offload these into is the potato boxes. And then we'll just use our little crate container here, our holder here, and transport these and put them to where we need to put them. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started, shall we? It is getting nighttime, so we will need to keep that in mind um, let's get the lights turned on let's get the back one on as well and uh, we'll turn on the auto tractor here let me turn the HUD on so we can see what's going on we don't need that so we want to go that direction um, I don't think we want to go reverse I think we want to go driving um, that should be fine I think all this will be fine here and let's go ahead and see how he gets along. Why is he going that way though? I don't know. Let me try shutting this off. And uh, let me just take him out for a minute. And we'll try this again. So we want to go that direction. Auto tractor. That's fine. Let's try this again now. And again he's trying to turn and why that is I'm not sure but let's shut that off then unfortunately we won't be able to start it then let's get them started to begin with so let's just go on down here and we're not picking up now why is that let me shut this off and do we need to lower that down turn that on there we go we'll just do a couple rows and get them started let me put this on four and we'll just cut this down for a couple rows and see how he gets along then. So you can see he's hard at work back there. Sorting the potatoes, pulling out the bad ones. And making sure that uh, only keeping the very best of the potatoes for sale. That wasn't too bad. Did a pretty clean row. Let me see now. If I put this back on this way, we want him to go this direction now. And what will happen? Where is he going? What is he doing? Let's give him a second. Get situated. Let's see how he does. Yeah, I don't think that's going to work. So it looks like we're going to have to do this manually. Which isn't too bad. So we'll just shut him off. Let's just back this back up. Yeah, that's not a very good backing up, is it? You know what? Let's do it this way. So I'm not sure why this is not working. It's probably because it is potato filled. It's different uh, trailer than normal. So sometimes Auto Tractor can get a bit finicky. And that's back in motion. And let's go ahead and try it again. So we'll just go. We'll just do it manually for a little bit see how we get along now we're gonna have to do a lot of cleaning up and stuff obviously I'm not quite sure where all the rows are situated I think what we want to do is we'll drive right between the rows and that should pick up the potatoes that we're in so if I switch to this view and then if I put the tires right well we'd have to go on this one here I believe so we put the tires here that seems to be working so we want it right beside the row and that should harvest the row that we are on or that we're beside rather uh, 
shut the pickup up and we'll turn it back around and see how we did. Yeah, for the most part, we got it. We'll turn the pickup back on and this time we'll go right down this row. I think we got it right there. Yeah, for the most part, we're doing good. Now, obviously, I'll have to do a lot of cleaning up and stuff. But uh, we are getting potatoes in. That's the big thing. We are collecting potatoes. So that's the big thing. And we're going to need these for the pigs and stuff as well. You know what? Let me just see how this cleanup will do. See if we get where we actually got to get to do the cleanup. Yeah, okay. So we can do that. That's not a problem. We just got to stay right to the right of the row that we want to do, and it will pick it up. And if you get over just a bit, it will it will miss it. So, but anywho, we have potatoes, and you got to think about it. it must not have been easy easy job to begin with before the animation of the big grims and stuff like that. So. Back then, they had to do it by hand for many, many, many years. And then these little one-row things come along to help automate it some. And you had to be really precise. And I'm sure it missed quite a bit. I'm sure it missed more than it actually got anyway. So you can see we are actually almost full. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick up one of these little rows that we missed just to top it off. And then we'll see how the potato boxes go. Now, I have two more of the crates by uh, Earl's Bay and, Hay, Bay and Hay feed over there. So we are now full. Let's back this up. We want to open the pipe. But I just want to make sure that we're not going to dump that on the ground. So let me get over a box. Now I've never tested these boxes. So I don't know if they're going to work or how it's going to work. But we'll give it a try. That should be... I'm assuming where it needs to go. Now what do we need to do? We need to... Hmm. Let me see something. If we need to maybe put the boxes a little closer or something. Let me try putting it right up underneath. Aha! There we go. Nice. Now, how much is actually in there? If I attach, it's 1,500 in there, so it's 81%. Not bad. So let's go ahead and back out. We'll leave the lights. Well, the lights go off. So that's that's it. That's how we do potatoes. And unfortunately, it's going to take us a while. Now, if we quickly look through uh, the animals and stuff, we're going to have to clean them out as well. So what I'll probably do is I'll do a little bit on the potatoes. And then we'll switch over to the animals and we'll start getting some of that done as well. Because I'm sure this will be quite boring for you to go through all the potato field harvesting. So if we look over here, um, you can see the pigs. Yeah, there's oh, only 2,400 liters of manure to slop out. I mean, that's not going to take much at all. It's going to take one bucket and not even a bucket. It's a half a bucket. And then the cows. Yeah. Technically, we don't really need to do anything because there's really not enough in there to, to worry about. So let's go ahead and continue on here. Um, let's go ahead and put on four again and turn this back on. Just grab a little bit of this potatoes we've missed. Nicely. I like this. It's a, it's a little slow for us, but uh, hey, we're all about the, the slowness and relaxation anyway, correct? At least I am. That's what I really enjoy about this map. It's really, really relaxing, really enjoyable. And for some reason, when you come back, it misses. It doesn't do too well going in this direction. I'm not sure why that is. We may have to only go in one direction each time. OK, 
Okay, let's go back up and come along here. Yeah, it seems to work really well in this direction. That's the other direction that it seems to really, really miss on. So let me give it a test. If we go back this way, it got that row fairly decent. But if we go back this way, now we want to come right down this row here. Now see, and it wants to get right where the tire is then. So we'd have to actually come over more this way and drive on the roll to pick up the roll. Interesting. Yeah, so going down the field, we want to be in one, one distance from the potatoes. And coming back, we have to actually be on the potatoes to for it to collect. wonder why that is. That is interesting. Very, very interesting. But anywho, we'll get it down. We'll get it down. We'll get it done. I mean, this field is really not that big anyway, so we don't have to worry about it too much. It shouldn't take us too long to collect all the potatoes. And uh, if we look to see how much the potatoes actually are right now, let me just jump back to the correct one. You see, three seven. They're actually down. Um, three seventy four oh two at the rail line. 402 at the rail line and but there's a great demand coming up in just just over four days so that's not too bad but we need it definitely for the pigs that's mainly what we need the the earth fruit for Whoop, let me shut that back off and if you look here and if we go through till we find the potatoes um, right here you can see that at the rail line, it stays right around the 400 mark. And at the Bay Hay and Feed, Earl's Bay Hay and Feed, it stays right about the 370 mark. So you can see over the last few days what the prices have been. 402, 406, 406, 404, and 402. So it's topped out at 406 currently. So we can always go back to when sell again when it's at that point if we need to and so on and so forth. This is quite relaxing. I like this. How you doing back there, Alan? Okay, we are full, so let's shut that pickup off. And we'll have to spin back around over the boxes. Let me just come out this way, and we'll put that into the dump position. And we'll come right along the boxes. Now, I'll have to go get some uh, more boxes. Obviously, I don't have enough. I'll put that down. Okay. Put that back in place, and away we go. A little fast here. I want to go down to four. Four seems to work the best on it. If we have it on four, which is your all, match the speed of your combine, it seems to work the best. Okay. Let's pick some more of this up. Just try to clean things up as we go along. Yeah, we're missing quite a bit, quite a bit. That should collect that. We should be driving right over the potatoes. Looks like we are. Looks like it's collecting. So welcome back. If I hadn't said it sooner, I really mean it. Welcome back. We are looking good I mean it's just shy of 8 a.m. or 8 p.m. rather and it looks like uh, looks like it won't take us too long to actually get this field done it's actually going quicker than I thought it would for only being a run, one row harvester it's it seems to be doing much better than I thought it would so I'm quite happy with that 
I just want to try to get a little bit of the stuff that we're missing. I'm not sure why some of it misses so much. And some of it, it gets okay. Let me get out of that view. That view really, really makes me dizzy. Okay, looking good. I love this. I love it. We've got potatoes. Or as Taff and Exile called it on the comment, Tatoes. Or if you go by Larry the Cable Guy, Taters. Get her done. Never thought I would say that on camera. My apologies for that. Loving this. So we were at about a quarter of the way done with the field. I believe, yeah, about a quarter of the way done. Don't think we're going to get as much out of this field as I thought we were going to get, but well, you never know. I'm not sure how much the boxes hold. I think they hold right around 2,000 liters. I'm believing. really really don't understand why the cutting pattern is so much different depending on which way you go it's like I think we have to be on the opposite row I think I'm gonna test something here let me do this row here we do it the correct way we come down to the right side of it so we come down the right side like this so this will get that row there okay now what I want to do coming back down is I want to go to the right of it again so we go down the right side but when we come back the opposite way I think we need to be on the right side again so what I'm saying is I'll put my tires instead of driving on it I actually put my tires to the right of it like so aha uh -huh wonder why that is that's strange it's like the cutting pattern then switches to underneath the tractor that's very 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 odd very odd oh well rhymes not to reason it's just to do right there we go And this should be... We're getting close to halfway done with this field, I believe. Getting close to halfway done. I'd hate to have to do a very large field with this one row thing, though. We are almost full. Let me spin back around. We'll just grab a couple of this stuff that we're missing. Just to top it off. And we're going to have to go pick up some more boxes from Earl Bay and Feed. I get some more boxes out there. There we are, we are full. So let's put this into the dump position. And now this one should fill up both of these boxes completely and then we won't have enough room. There'll still be some left in there is what I'm trying to say. So if we fill this in. Okay, that one is full. And that one is full and we still got 53%. So let me just shut this off for a minute. We'll leave that there. We got two boxes full of potatoes. So let's just pick one of these up. And now I don't know. I want to I want to test something. Let me check this for a minute. We go to P and we go to what we own. And then I want to check those trailers. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah, it doesn't tell me what they actually carry though so let's give one of these a try let's uh let me let me clear my throat let's do this let's leave that there for a minute let's pick up one of the trailers Let's pick up one of the trailers and I want to see if we can dump those boxes into the trailers or at the very least maybe we can lower the sides down and then just put them in there just to transport them and see how it goes. 
but I think we should be able to empty the potatoes into there. I know we can transport transport the potatoes with them from the conveyor belt because that's how we fed the the pigs and stuff with it. But I'm not sure whether we can empty the boxes straight into there or not. That is the question. How we do on time? 20 minutes in already. 20 minutes in, we've done about half the potato field. Not too bad, I suppose. So it's going to take us like 40, 45 minutes to do the full field. Corn's coming up lovely, lovely. It will be ready soon. Beautiful night. All right, late, late evening, I should say. Not night yet, but it's evening time. Hi, Steve. Thank you for helping me on Idaho, too, by the way. Okay, here we go. Now, I'm very curious to see if we can dump these boxes straight into there or not, whether it will work. I'm not sure how that's going to work. Because obviously I don't think the the dumper itself on the trailer or on the potato harvester will fit up over the side of the trailer here. So that's why we would need the potato boxes for sure. But just curious. I don't know. Maybe it would. It might would. Let's just see. We'll leave this here for a minute. Let's, uh, let's open the door. Jump out. And let's give this a whirl. Yeah, it looks like it would. It looks like it fit directly over there. We may not even need it, the boxes. But if we come over like this. And will this now dump? That's the question. No, don't think I can dump it this way. But what I can do is... Um, what control is it? I want to... Oops, that's not what I want it. I want to open the boards, but I have to switch to the other side first. Activate right side. <laughs> okay, I guess it's only going to do that one side, which is the dumping side. Okay, so my question then then becomes can we set this in let me do this let me come back around we'll do it the right way instead of trying to set it in over the side we'll come back over to the side we'll set the side down and we'll try setting these boxes straight into the truck that way so let me open that up Come back in here. Let's turn the light back on. Let me get this in the right position. Let me get rid of that. And then we should be able to put this directly right in the center. Oop, back up. Not sure if this is going to work or not. It acts like it wants to flip the trailer. Oops, not what I wanted to do. Hmm. Yeah, see, it won't let me unlock the box. It's like it's not registering. There we go. Hmm, I wonder if how that will work, if that will even work. Let's give it a try. We'll see. It's not ideal. I may have to figure out a better way to do that. may just get rid of the boxes completely or I'll just leave the boxes out here on the side of the fields just for as overflow type thing and just use the dumper and straight into the trailer when my camera angles I can't see very well there we go that's what I should have done in the first place was get into the middle one here we go now if we just 
pull this right into there. Unfortunately, it looks like we'd only be able to do two boxes at a time, though. Oh, come on. There we go. Now, I'm curious. What does we do? Okay. Now, can we change body load? We can. That will help hold it in there a little better. And I'm curious, what would happen? What would happen? No, you know what? I ain't going to mess with it. Let's just take this back over to the farm. We'll pick up the other trailer, and then we'll worry about these boxes later then. I'll worry about those off camera, figure out, you know, I'll just offload them with the front end loader like we put them on there. They're riding back there okay. They're not going anywhere. That's nice. You can see them in the mirror sitting up in there nice and pretty. They're not going anywhere, it doesn't look like. Looks like they're riding in there nice. I don't know whether we'd actually be able to dump it though. I don't think we can. Because I don't think they're actually registered as in the trailer per se. How are we doing on time? Almost 27 minutes in. Yeah, so I think I I think we will do away with the box system. I might sell that. Get rid of the box system and we'll just use the trailer straight. I didn't think that thing would go high enough to dump into the trailer, but obviously it looks like it will. So if we come over to here. Where's our other trailer at? Should be. It's not there. Now. I think these were potatoes down here, right? Yeah, and it's not registering. Oh, can't see. Yeah. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'll leave the trailers parked right over here. Like such. Okay, and where is our other trailer? That's the question right here. Here we go. Let's run this back over. Turn the mirrors on, and we'll offload that way. And that will give us some potatoes. I didn't happen to see how much those boxes held, so I'll have to check that off camera. Maybe you guys can tell me in the comments below what each box held. I forgot to check that. I'm, I'm assuming it's around 2,000 liters, I'm guessing. So that should be, what, about 4,000 liters of potatoes we've done already. Which isn't too bad, I guess. And I think we got about filled almost halfway done. So not too bad, I, I, I'm guessing. It's not as much as I thought it was going to be. But it is a small field, so that's we got to keep that in, in mind as well. Doesn't You know, this map is not that big, but it sure seems like it takes forever to get out here to the sheep farm and where the potatoes are. It does seem like it takes a while. Okay. Can I pull up right, right side him? Let's see if this will work. I'm not sure if I can get close enough. Okay. No, can't get close enough. So let me, let me just, there it is. Got it right there. So we can dump the potato straight in, so that's good to know. So let's just get this back into place. Get going. We wasted enough of your time. And put that back into place. Put this on four. And away we go. So we want to the right. To the right, to the right. No. Oh. Never mind. It's Beyonce songs to the left, right? Are 
it should be to the left, correct? Go. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And then now this way we want to be pretty much right on or just to the right of it. Which, don't ask me why, doesn't make much sense to me, but that's the way it is. So, there we go. And that cleans up quite nicely that way then. I think we got it figured it out, everyone. I think we figured it out. Go. Now this is going to go up on Friday. It is Thursday morning. This shortly before 6 a.m. I've been up since 2 a.m. with the splitting headache, migraine, so bad that it actually woke me up and I had to go run to the bathroom and uh, uh, upheave is the nicest way I can say it, I guess. I do suffer from migraines quite often. Um, it's been a plague since I was about four years old. Uh, unfortunately, I've had all kinds of medical tests. I've had multitude of doctors check me out, especially in the military. And the conclusion that they all come to is there's no specific reason why I get them. I just get them just because. So there's, I, 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 there are triggers that will help uh, bring them on sooner. That is, uh, if I drink a lot of caffeinated beverages, i.e. Uh, Diet Coke or energy drinks. If I drink too many of them, I'll get it. But then in the same token, if I try to stop drinking them, I'm already addicted to them. Then if I cut down on it, my body starts lacking them. Then I trigger severe migraines. So it's one of those damned if you do, damned if you don't type scenarios. Um, if, I, if I have a lot of heat or stress going on, like right now I am really burning up even though it's really not that hot it's probably around 10 degrees celsius outside so but i feel like it's probably you know 90 degrees in my room right now that's how hot i am just from the migraine so heat triggers it uh excitement when i was a kid the whole family would go to disneyland and stuff like that in california and that would that would trigger a migraine too much excitement and fun would trigger the migraine so I, I have suffered from it all my life. Um, there's times though I don't get it as often. But uh, like this one, I think the last time I had a, this bad of a migraine was probably, oh God, a couple months ago. And so for me, that's, that's probably pretty decent. Fortunately, I took some medicine and I don't feel too bad right now. I do feel a little dizzy, but other than that, I'm okay. But I really wanted to get this video done. And get it uploaded that way it will release on Friday for you uh, it's because you guys deserve it you really do for me that's that's what I get the enjoyment from is seeing you guys interaction watching the views come in that's what I enjoy that you guys get the enjoyment out of it there we go let's just top it off by getting a couple of these areas we missed and I'd say that's about halfway I'd say we've got the field about halfway done that's what it looks like to me Quite a bit of potatoes here we missed. There we go, that cleaned them up quite nicely. And I don't want to start a whole new row because we're going to lose, only get down halfway because we only need four more percent. And we're almost done, two percent more. There we go. Let's shut off the collector. Come back around. We'll put this up into the empty position. Yeah, it's about halfway, I'd say. Maybe a little more than halfway now. It's about halfway, I'm guessing. Put this into place. And here we go. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Put that back down. Put that and away we go how are we doing on time 35 minutes in so what I'm gonna do guys I'll finish this off camera um, unless you really want to see it uh, I, I I may wait a few days to do that until I give you guys some times to view this tomorrow 
and put your comments in. If you'd rather me save this until next episode and we finish it up on the next episode, then that's what I'll do. But uh, by Saturday, I'll probably film the next one for Monday because the next episode will go up on Monday. So by Saturday, uh, I'll take what comments we have. And if there's nothing there, obviously, then I'll finish this offline. And Monday, we will work on something else then. So thank you for joining me again on the Old Family Farm. This has been Farming Simulator 2013. With me, a kick to the head as always. Mash that like up button if you enjoyed the episode. It really helps me out. And I always leave your comments and suggestions below. I do take them to heart. I do reply to them all. I really enjoy the interaction with everybody. So until next time, thanks for joining me. We'll see you all later. Bye-bye.